2023. Let's clap them up. you guys here. It's always a pleasure, Mr. Aguilar. I know you have a busy schedule. Lots going on. I know, Genesis, we pulled you out of your one year of testing right now, so yeah. thank you so much. I'm sure you do awesome and you're joining us now. Uh, but it's so great to have you guys. Um, you guys had a great year mm -hmm. as an academic decathlon team. So let's do this. Can you guys tell us like a summary of your guys' year as a team? and perhaps maybe some highs and lows that happened throughout the year? Because I know there's a lot. We made a lot of announcements, a lot of cool things happened. So can we do a quick summary, and then maybe some highs and lows? Does that sound fair? Let's go. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Okay. Aguilar, let's go! You know what, I'm excited. I was excited this year. We had a lot of new people. Um, Natalie back here was one of our new uh, people. It was a surprise, actually. Um, she seemed like she was interested. We talked, and she came on board, and she was one of the high scorers, you know. Um, and close to a medal, and we know she'll get that next year. You know, it's hard to get medals uh, for decathlon, so when we get them, we're kind of excited. There's like 50 schools plus, sometimes more than 60, and maybe only about 10 or 12 schools get medals. Wow. Really, not that many get them. It's always the same schools that get them, and so uh, you're like, oh, we get some this year. And so we got, uh, we had a scholarship, and I'll let them talk about it, we had a couple medals, but, but the challenge, I would say real quick, the challenge is, of course, always getting new people mm -hmm. and to get people excited for the whole year. We're starting again in the next couple weeks, so if you're, hopefully people are interested, they'll come in to B19 to uh, let me know, Ciara's uh, one of our captains, and Natalie's a captain, and then we have the Genesis as our treasure. So it's a club also, it's not just a team, but it's also a club, so. We had a good year. Thanks for encouraging us. Oh, too. Yeah. It was a gold medal. It was for the interview category. I got a perfect score of a thousand out of a thousand. Very what? difficult to do. Come on. She got, she also got the money. She got the scholarship. Okay. So you got a thousand out of a thousand points. Yeah. And then, yeah, I did also receive a scholarship. It was from the, um, I believe it's named the Lukman Foundation. And basically, the criteria for the scholarship was having very notable skills in communication. So I believe my like good performance in my interview, that's kind of what led to me getting that scholarship, and I'm very grateful for receiving it. <coughs> She's a good talker. Broadcast <laughs> program. A little bit of help with your little communication bit, yeah. skills. That's pretty true, yeah. Just, no, you gotta yeah. no, get the props. I think, yeah, I think the practice with the interviews and also me being part of the broadcast that like really helped me mm. grow as a person, like with my communicating. Because like probably like a year or two ago, I probably couldn't do something like this, like being talking in a video or talking to people I don't know, or even like presenting to like. Um, Middle scores, like I did a while ago for broadcasting, mm -hmm. like I could have never done that like years ago, but now I've gotten better at it. Yeah, so you're one of many in the broadcast program that c c continues to claim that they didn't have these skills and they were super shy. Yeah. But you ever see her lead? Uh, she led the, uh, the one of the Valiente Charter like visits, and she like flowed like a full-on professional and really guided them and had re a really elaborate speech, and it was candid on the spot. It was. Very impressive. So, her among all the broadcast students have really grown on those areas. So it, it's really neat to, to see that, you know, an application at the program. So, is that so I, thought you like a head shake head. <laughs> I do weird little gestures here. So, all right. Uh, I, I, I do want to jump into Genesis. She got a, a silver medal. Um, they didn't get too many medals for JV, but you have to be the top gold, silver, and she got uh, silver number two in the in the district. Come on. It's pretty big, and uh, she's a stud. And she uh, she, racked up, she racked up the points and and uh, I'm just really encouraged that she's in it. And she'll be back next year. They're all going to be back oh, next year. Oh, that's awesome! And so, what, what what was the category or what were the skills that you were? It was overall being points. Overall, for her. overall points. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. So, Aguila, how does it make you feel to work with kind of this crop of kids that are like all stars? Uh, it's every year I've been since I've been here at Southgate. I've been able to work with these type of kids. When I say this type, these are high motivated students. And even my students, because I, I don't just take A students, I have B students, I have C students, 3C, 3B, and 3A. But even my C students are uh, highly motivated, very intelligent. A lot of times the reason why they're maybe in the C category is because they may have had a bad year, or they, uh -huh. maybe they COVID or something got them down, down a little bit. But every one of my students are studs. And I mean it, they're, they're smart, and they're also, uh, not only that, but more important is they're, they're good humans, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And the way they treated one another. I think this, this year, more than any other year, I felt like people were getting along and talking and, and, and help each other. It doesn't help, it doesn't hurt that we have some food at, after school. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, food. food. And uh, food. teens need food. And looking so. Up, looking at you, Miss yeah. Hangry. Queen of Hangry. I'll never forget it. 
cat, and she almost bit my head off. We there didn't you have go. food that's after an lot. event, so 100 percent true. But yeah, so it's it's yeah, that's it. <laughs> so tell us like maybe one like standout memory from this past year. Like man, I'll never forget that crazy all nighter, or when we're driving back doing this, or like <laughs> I don't know, like what maybe was one memory. Like man, that was awesome. Whether it was Formally in a competition or kind of outside of the classroom studying, like what's maybe one cool memory that you'll always remember being part of Decathlon? Yeah. Um, we did a fundraiser, mm. so we did that during everything and it was Parent Night last year, during August or something. So we had a good fundraiser, a lot of people came, that's a lot of parents. We were selling nachos and coffee, so... <laughs> Very cool. I appreciate that. Uh, I think for me, one like memory that like I think was really important was the day we had our second day of competition. It was when we had to do our interviews and speeches. That day, that was like because this year was my very first year competing in person. Last year, everything was online due to COVID. Mm -hmm. So when we went over there, it was a school in downtown LA. I don't remember the name. But Roy like, Ball. Roy oh, Ball. Roy Ball. Roy yes, Ball. We went to Roy Ball High School or Learning Center. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Center, and then like basically all the schools from the district were there and then you see like everybody like basically like the whole campus was filled with people from different schools and then that's when I realized like really how big this program is and how important mm -hmm. it is because otherwise like I had not really seen other people involved in the program so like it, it didn't feel as important as it did once I saw everybody that was in it and it was like, it was, like very motivating mm -hmm. and very inspiring. Very cool. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, that, do you have one that stands out? Can you think of um, one? Yeah, I think a memory that stands out to me was um, Gram Day. Like, it's a day we take before <laughs> we, we go to competition where we just like cram all the yeah. subjects we've learned and then just remember going into that class and now you are having a table full of food. So that was oh, there you go. <laughs> bagels That's a winner. And stuff. But yeah, it's it, we all worked um, with each other and I think it was fun, you know, just yeah. to take the day. Take the day off school, but really yeah. just like cram all day. Was it like on a Saturday or something? No, it was a Friday. Friday. It was a day, like Friday. Friday. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm surprised that Natalie doesn't say because this was a big for me. The highlight was what was like uh, we have this thing called Super Quiz, uh -huh. and all the schools go up and they and they compete and, and with questions. And our our middle team, which is called our Scholastic. Scholastic team, went up there and got like 10 out of 14 right, which was unheard of. And they were Natalie was one of them, and Valerie Cruz, Janessa. and Janessa, Janessa. Uh, Escobar. Uh, they were studs. They put us on the map. That middle team, and uh, I was so grateful. I was like, oh my god, I was so excited. It was so electrifying that they just kept scoring, scoring, nice. and they did scoring yeah. different this year, which was more difficult. Uh, they could only get one point or zero. It's one or zero, and they got like ten points. Gotcha. And it's yeah. really cool because like every time a team would get a question right, you could, like lift up this like little green paper so the that like card. everybody else could see. Yeah, like the green card, you can see that um, the person got the question right. So we just kept seeing that green card go up and oh, up. Oh, that's so like, I was like, oh thank God. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and it was just awesome. They were Studs. So, Mr. Aguilar, you tell me what what's what's a, a really great memory from this past year? These, these yeah. studs that you say like a number of times—they're amazing. What, yeah, they are. You know what? For you? I, I'll be honest with you. For me, it's it's. I realized over the years that a lot of it's about relationships, you mm -hmm, know. Mm -hmm. And so we were at um, one of the one of the times that before we went to Roy Ball, we went to Mesa's. I think it was called yeah, Mesa's. And we were sitting there. And we're all eating, we're all eating outside. And people are talking, getting to know each other, and I go, man, this is just, this is great, yeah. you know? I, I, I'm I, glad I'm part of this group, and these are smart people. I'm, I'm, I'm involved with a lot of smart kids here, and it makes me learn a little bit more, too, and hopefully get a little smarter. And uh, I just was part, I was proud of being part of them, and they were right. so good to each other, you know? Yeah. And uh, we didn't have any ugliness or any uh, drama, you know, jealousy or drama, yeah. which, I, which I've had before. And uh, I said, this is a good group, and I'm, bad, I'm proud to be here. So it was just, it was a good feeling that day. I'm like, wow. Um, it's a good people to Very cool. Yeah. Um, I think the skills definitely that we gain from decathlon is public speaking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, because especially if you're on 18, you have to do a speech and an interview. So you just have to really like feel comfortable in your own skin and like feel confident talking. Mm -hmm. Because like if you don't, like they won't give you a lot of points. Right, right. Uh, so that's definitely a skill that I acquired in decathlon that I feel like I would definitely use yes. in the future. Absolutely. Say it would be building relationships. Um, 
the decathlon, whether it's in our own school or even when we go to the other schools and begin communicating with those students, mm -hmm. we learn to sort of build relationships and find something that's similar between all of us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's something that I'm taking. That's huge. That's a huge. I think that's big. Is after COVID. I think like another benefit to Kaplan is probably um, the organization skills you learn while being in it because you have to set aside a lot of time to read our different resource guides and also time to make your speeches, practice and whatnot. So I think it teaches you to become a very like organized and motivated person, and that helps you in the future, like for college, because you have to set aside time to mm -hmm. you know read your textbooks, do your assignments and whatnot. So I think it just benefits you in that way. With your organization? Mm, yeah, I, I, I agree completely. Like, if you were to ask me and um, Mr. Aguilar, like, some of the skills I just get us by in life, those are it. <laughs> Huge. Like, you gotta be able to communicate, have good public speaking skills. Uh, you gotta be able to be organized, manage your time, prioritize things. And then, networking, relationships, those soft skills are just gold. Cool. All Everything you guys mentioned, that's awesome. Can I, I mention regarding the goals? Because uh, then they could each maybe share an individual goal. But for as, as a coach, I really believe this team could be most improved next year. Meaning we get more points than we did this year. Quite a bit of more points. So uh, that would be my thing I'm going to instill with them. Is we want to get most improved. Everybody gets a medal. We had uh, about two, three medals this year. And so I'm thinking everyone gets one this year. I know that sounds crazy, but I think it's doable. Um, these are, these are going to be all seniors, you know. Uh -huh. um, they could do it. And um, also, um, for them to get another scholarship, like we got, you know, they only gave like three, like three, or four scholarships. So we'd like to get another one because once, you know, we love to get money, and oh, so yeah. for the for the student. So those are those are the team goals, and then of course continue that building uh, community. Yes, yes, awesome. Anything to add in terms of the future for you guys I, personally and collectively as a group? <laughs> yeah, I think for me, my goals are pretty similar to what Mr. Aguilar said because I. Um, prior to this, I think nobody from South Korea had ever won a scholarship. Mm -hmm. So I really hope that like next year somebody else in our group, or maybe even me again, <laughs> like wins a scholarship. And then my personal goal was to earn three medals, I think, next year. Since this year I did one, I wanted to um, like advance. Yeah. yeah. That'll be a goal. That'll be a record for us. Yeah. But also, I feel like overall, I hope we do better as a team, gain more points, and then possibly we make it to the state competition. Because I think at the moment, there's like one school from our competition that's at Texas right now doing the national competition. So hopefully we can get like somewhere up there. That'd be really cool. That would be awesome. Oh my goodness. Good goal. Too. When they graduate, um, the district gives me um, these, um, what do you call it? The course. task courts. The courts yeah. And so, you know, there's different courts that means something, but um, because the Cathon is so well respected in the district and we're one of the best districts in the whole country, really are. Um, they give us these courts for the graduating students. It's like gold students. lace. No, it's it's yeah. funny. It's <laughs> red, white, blue. It's, it's it's interesting color, and they wear them. And uh, this year, I think we have uh, the, well these are juniors, but the, our seniors. Which seniors get to wear? And and not just the ones that that were part of the team this year, but any time they were part of the the A team, they get to wear it. So, That's yeah. awesome. So it's I'm very excited that they get to do that, and it's it's on the program and it's everything. So we're. Excited. That is so cool. I, I'm really glad we got a chance to hang out with you guys because I don't think the school realizes mm. how fortunate we are to have such a great program. Like we hear a lot of different programs going on, which is awesome, but it's rare we get a chance to really highlight something special. Not every program is special, but for you guys to do what you guys did this past year and then to know that where you're going next year and how established the program is, it's it's really, it's really awesome. So, Mr. Aguilar, thank you. you you've done such a great job. How no. long have you been doing here, the academic This is my 13th year here at this school, and I didn't do it at the previous school, but uh, 13 great years, and 13 yeah. great groups of kids, and uh, this year, no exception. 10 subjects, they study for 10 subjects, plus a super quiz throughout a whole year, read a book, it's just a lot of work, and they, yeah. they put the time in, so. Yeah. yeah, it's awesome. I'm inspired, I'm inspired by the hard work, I'm inspired by the talent, and your leadership, and everything you do, Aguilar, is really, it's really special. Thank Very you. fortunate to have you guys. Thank you, so, round applause for our academic decap on TV. Man, all right, a lot going on. I feel like I should go run a mile and just do something <laughs> motivated because you guys are like, oh, I'm doing this study and all these different things. So, um, so I appreciate you guys sharing. You guys know that anytime people come up here to hang out for the Ram Show, we do some type of fun activity. So we're going to segue oh into the activity. We're not going to let you know what that activity is yet because we're going to just go ahead and bring it right on over. So see you guys shortly. Round of applause again for our academic decal. Right. See you guys in a moment. Number crew, we're flipping. It, two, twelve. Twelve? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> two. Oh! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Oh! No! 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 Please, I believe you.
great day.